Hi, I'm Henry with Taylor Shellfish. Today I'm going to talk to you about two methods of growing clams. So the first method is using a net like this. Alright, so the first step when planting clams under a net is to find a suitable beach to plant your clams. Clams will grow in most any substrate, but prefer beaches with small to medium rocks and they don't do well in very soft or muddy ground. If you're growing clams in the South Sound, they prefer a tidal height of between plus 5 and plus 1 and a plus 3 to plus 1 tidal height if you're in Hood Canal or the North Puget Sound. So here I have my net spread out on a suitable beach and the first thing you're going to do is bury the edges of the net in the sand to keep it in place and for added security you can take your four rebar stakes and secure the four corners of the net. Once your net's secure and in place you're going to wait for the tide to come in and for there to be just a few inches of water on top of your net then you're going to spread your clams across your net on top of the net and they'll be able to get through and dig themselves down. The next method of growing clams is using a grow bag or grow box. When you get your grow bag, you're going to cut four inch slits in each corner of the grow bag and you can fold them by folding the side down first and the two sides over to form a box corner shape. This is what you're going to secure with zip ties and make sure there's no holes it's nice and tight. Once you've got one side of your bag secured, you're going to want to dig a hole in the ground approximating the size of your grow box. Once your hole is dug, you're going to want to fill your grow bag from the open side with everything that you've pulled. So once your bag has been filled with the sand you pulled out of your hole, you can secure the other end of the bag in the same fashion as the first end and place it in the hole. Use the remaining sand or other sand around to bury the sides of the bag make sure it's secure in the hole, and then wait for the tide to come in. Once the tide has come in and there's a few inches of water on top of your bag, you can gently sprinkle your clams on top and they will sink in, dig themselves down.